So what is Wildenstern? Those of you that have been here will already know. It means the wilderness where I stand and it is our way of connecting you with our inspirational leaders to get a bit of a taste of the outdoors and to give you a little bit of excitement and adventure at this weird time that we're all going through. Obviously many of us are desperate to get out into the world but our movements have been somewhat restricted. Luckily British Exploring Society has some spectacular leaders who live across the UK in remarkable places who know an awful lot about the outdoors so they're going to bring some of that to you this evening. Where I am now, so I, I'm in South Wales um, and I'm in a, in, a, in a gorge and I'm going to show you kind of a couple of different water sources here um, and that's going to go down to here. So a couple of, a couple of water sources which if they were our only option, we would use them. A pretty beautiful day down here. Uh, lots of butterflies flying around and, uh, and, and looking good. Um, so welcome, welcome to this session. This session's called Tracks and Trails uh, and it's a introduction to, to tracking. But to start off with, we're just gonna have uh, our feet to the shoulder width apart. And all we're gonna do is just raise one leg up so just going to raise one leg so we're a slightly off balance. And what we should be feeling there, hopefully, is our upper body kind of moving about a little bit. Um, if we look at, what, at the direction at the moment of where we are, there's, a, there's, an, obvious, there's an obvious trail here. That, you know, we talked about flattening and we talked about uh, you know, uh, game trails, but there's an obvious sort of a path that runs round and heads up into the trees up there. So we're assuming at the moment that our quarry has come this way. And we've got flowing water here, it looks clear, um, but it's not flowing necessarily very fast. General rule of thumb, if you imagine when you go to your kitchen tap, you go and fill up a glass of water, how fast that water's flowing to fill up your glass. You don't let it trickle out, you really, you know, you go quite fast. That's how fast you want the water to be going if you're collecting it from a flowing location. So ideally, what we're thinking about is carrying two jugs of water and these jugs of water are full to the brim uh, and we're in our so someone said about the desert earlier we're in our desert we're parched we don't want to waste any of that water we make sure that we don't spill a drop so we're in well with that thought we keep ourselves up nice and straight so our body stays up straight we're carrying that water and again not going to place in that foot flat and we're moving our weight over Fill that right up superb okay Look at that. We've got three litres of water there very easily. Well, fairly easily. Make our way back out. But there's definitely some colour change going on here. They've obviously depressed the twig as they've stepped and the twig has broken, leaving these open, these open ends here with a slight colour change. And also it's, a, it's an element of disturbance as well. So, I think, you're going to have that one and Cheers. Let's see if it tastes oh. nice. How do they taste? Tastes good. Tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> My camera person is, is drunk about one apparently. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> 